Hey YouTube, Darren here. Just kind of an update as to what all's going on. Uh, before I do all that though, let's do a shout out and uh, recognize all these people that have subscribed to my channel. Evan Roberts, thanks for subscribing man. Larry Bivens, thank you. Nick Hickman, thanks man. Tom Jim, 9996. Country Boy, 1CP, thanks man. Mortis Deagle, thank you for subscribing, man. Colton Chapel, thanks for subscribing, guys. And uh, we're going to walk over to the shop side in just a second, and uh, we're going to uh, crank up the Murray Gator. Hadn't done it in a little bit. Uh, somebody asked me if I would uh, uh, go do a walkthrough with it, and I thought, well, heck, why not? More to come in just a second. Okay, guys. Uh, before we walk over there, I just want to also say, if you would, take a look at Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook. Uh, jump in there, subscribe to it, post some junk. Um, Brian Griffin. We're going to go over to the uh, shop side and take a look at the Murray Gator. Uh, you asked me to do a, a walkthrough of it, and I hadn't cranked it up, gosh, in a month. So I'm hoping it'll crank up. It may smoke a little bit. But we'll go over, uh, take a look at it, crank it up, and uh, ride it around for a minute. More to come. Okay, guys, this is uh, the Murray Gator for people that haven't really been watching. Uh, it's a six wheeler. Uh, it is a six wheel, four wheel drive. Uh, I don't know if it's a riding mower anymore. Uh, it doesn't cut grass, but it's a mudding mower. Uh, it has a uh, bed on it that I made out of a plastic pallet and uh, it dumps. Both the rear transmissions are synchronized and they're both locked. So it's a uh, four wheel drive and one shifter uh, actuates both transmissions. That shifter there actuates both transmissions and um, it, it works really good. Uh, it took me a while to get everything figured out as far as how to uh, make the transmissions synchronized. Ah, and it was an ever-living pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, and it actually has a dump bed on it. The dump bed works. Um, but uh, once I got that figured out, that was the hardest part. God has uh, two uh, five-inch pulleys on the back and on the front it has a five-inch pulley as well so it's all a one-to-one -one. I've got a double pulley situated I don't know if you can see it maybe you can right there um, and it works really well uh, I do not have any Kevlar belts on these these are just regular automotive belts but so far, uh, the tensioners uh, that I have uh, do fantastic. I have a double clutch uh, set up on the front. Hang on, let me see if we can get under here and look at this. Uh, there we go. Hold on, let me back us out. There we go. Double clutch set up there, and it works really well. Uh, I did not lock the front. I don't really care about locking the fronts. Um, I like to have the uh, range of motion, uh, but that's just me. Now, everybody says, well, why do you have mudding tires on it? Because uh, if I had regular turf savers on this, as well as these turf savers, when I turned, all it would do is just push it. I do have it situated, and you can see right here where this is slightly lower, and this is just my little secret. This tire is about an eighth of an inch lower than this tire. That's what allows me, everybody says, well, this thing shouldn't really be able to turn this well. Um, that's what allows me to be able to turn uh, as well as I can. I have had about a thousand pounds on the back of it and uh, lugged it around no problem at all. It's a 16 horsepower uh, Vanguard. It's all factory. Uh, I've adjusted the valves. Uh, that's it, clean the carburetor out. Still gotta clean the carburetor out again. It runs kinda crappy. I'm gonna have to choke it probably to crank it. 
I got the parts ordered, but they haven't come in yet, so eh, that's just the way it is. But we're going to crank this guy up, and uh, we'll ride it around for a minute. More to come. Okay guys, believe it or not, this is uh, my mud pit, um, but it's grown up a little bit. So we're going to take uh, the Murray Gator through this uh, mud pit. I hope to God it doesn't get stuck because I'm too damn tired to pull it out. Um, it probably just sit there for a few days. But now yeah, let's ride through it. If it doesn't sink, it doesn't sink. More to come. Thanks for watching guys, y'all gonna make some mayhem.